Hi everybody and welcome back to Ryan Bolton Cards and today we have the Big Bat Box. I have no idea what month this one was. This is the St. Louis one. So I don't know what's this, March maybe? April? I don't know. But I think this is my last one that I'm due to receive of the Big Bat Box after I cancelled my subscription. Uh, still waiting on two diamond boxes to come. But luckily I got this one so far. So we'll check it out. So sit back, relax, crack open that beer, pour yourself a cup of coffee, tea, soda, milk, whatever you like to drink, and see what's inside. So this one is St. Louis. You see the arch in the back. It's Gibson on the sides. So here, we'll check this one out, see what is inside. Like I said, I'm in my last big bat box I got... I am going to give this my honest opinion. I'm not going to sure code anything because there's a lot of things I think about this product. It's it's nice, but yet I feel that some of the bigger YouTube channels get the better packs and better uh, cards inside because you can pick what special card you get what team if either whatever team you want and i think that the the better youtubers and you know the favoritism are the ones that have the like i said bigger youtube channels get the the better cards like i got the white socks for mine and like i said before every single card i got has been a relic i haven't got one single autograph so here's everything on here i'm not gonna read everything but I've seen other people get relics for their team uh, card. But I keep getting I keep getting relics. So here we go. We'll see what we got inside. So we got all the peanuts out for right now. Here's the one card guard. Or top loader and uh, two penny sleeves. Hopefully we'll be able to use them. And then we have we have 2020 Series 2 tops. Hopefully get a Luis Robert rookie card in that one. Got 2020 Tops Holiday, which I have not opened up, so that'll be good to open up that. We have Prism, 2020 Prism. And we got some 2020 archives. That's cool because I'm still working on this set, so that'll be cool to get. Same with along with Heritage. Still need some cards for that set too. And then we got 92 Pinnacle. Uh, series 1. Nothing too exciting in... Ooh, so br brick. You heard that just snap. Uh, I don't can't remember if... Um, if Manny Ramirez is in Series 1 or Series 2. And I think Jeff Kent is in Series 2, his rookie card. And then um, got 1990s Tops. See what's this? I'm hiding the the card behind it. So there's the stuff for for next month's raffle. Let's see, so we'll put this all back in. Let's see. I got so many ninety packs. I have no idea what I'm gonna do other than open them. Let's see. I wanna hide the card because I don't want to see it yet. I don't want anybody else to see it. So we got 1990 tops. Hopefully you look for uh, Frank Thomas. Alright, so there's the special card inside. Put that over there for right now. So we'll just do this. So that's the special card right there so here we go big bat box time like I said let's see these are some pretty exciting packs right here so here we go we'll do these ones first we'll do the pinnacle let's scoot this back just a little bit there we go I guess I can't remember if I, 
I believe series one has Manny Ramirez and Cliff Floyd are the two like kind of make main rookies. And then Jeff Ken is in series two. So here we go. Kevin Moss. This guy was a big card back then. We got Roger Clemens, Roger Travis Fryman. That's a decent card there. Benito Santiago. Terry Pendleton. Starting off. At least with some stars and stuff. Mickey Tattleton. Darren Dalton. Like there we go. Eric Carros, one of my PC guys. And Sean Berry, rookie prospect. And then we got Robin Ventura and was that Lou Gehrig? Yeah, Lou Gehrig and Robin Ventura. Milt Plater. Larry Walker. Steve Furr. Bobby Thigpen. And Doc Gooden. So actually a lot of good stars in that pack. A lot of good stars and, and semi-stars. We'll do the 90 tops. Speaking of 90 tops, I'm thinking about opening up all my boxes of 90 tops looking for the Frank Thomas. I know I said I was going to do it when I get to 1,000 subscribers and um, do it for my first live, but I don't want the gum to keep messing up the cards. And I've been stuck at 177 for for a long time now. And it's been over a year since I started this. And I've only gotten to 177. So my guess is maybe I'll do uh, one, one, one box a week for 90 tops looking for, for Frank Thomas. No name. So I'll keep, keep, keep that in mind. Roger McDowell, Jim Abbott cut card, uh, Paul Coleman, first draft pick. Nothing too exciting in that pack. So, for those of you who are watching, who are not subscribed, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. I'll do Prism. Check out my eBay page at GoPacker79. Hit the like button if you want. Leave a comment if you like. And for those of you who are already subscribed, I want to thank you. I appreciate you guys. We got Jake Fairley, rookie card for Seattle. Who you? We got whoops, Fireworks, Corey Bellinger. Nice. You say get a Dodger. And Matt Scherzer, stargazing. Insert. So we got fireworks, Corey Bellinger. Alrighty. No color or anything in that one other than two inserts. So I have not opened up Pops Holiday yet. Hopefully get a a Luis Robert rookie card. I do have that one though, but it'd be nice to get a second one or get some other good rookies. Like I said, this is the first time opening up Top Holiday. So we got Josh Bell, Kyle Seeger, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold Cup card, uh, Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, we got Josh Bell as the Metallic Flake card. Ooh, we got Eloy Jimenez. Nice. I like that one. Gold Cup card. That goes over there with my PC. Brandon Lowe or Lau, however you wanna however he pronounces it. Matt Chapman. Wilson Contreras. And Max Lake Smith. I do like the design of these ones. These are pretty cool. Let's see. Any of them short prints or variations? I know they did last year. But I don't see anything that's sticks out alrighty let's see these two sets I'm working on I actually finished series 2 of 2020 I'm still missing cards for series 1 though at least I picked up the Kyle Lewis so I'm, I'm missing the biggest card that I needed out of the 6 cards the 7 cards that I needed 
So at least I got Kyle Lewis out of the way. So here we go. Josh Reddick. Martin. Brandon. Joey. Justin Smoke. Just like saying his name. We got Ryan. Great first name. Chris Sale. Ruby Ray. And there you got the Chicago White Sox team card. We got Seattle team card. And we got a short print. Nice. We got a short print and a rookie. Rookie something or other. So we got Willie McCovey is the short print. That's a nice looking card. So we'll use it. One of the penny sleeves. And we'll use the the top loader for the Willie McCovey short print card. Let's see. So this is card number 418. And in the back is 115. All right. We'll put that one, put that like that. And then we got a rainbow of foil of Rangel of, I don't know how to pronounce it, rookie card. And then we have Gio Gonzalez and Colton Wong. Alrighty. Now, let's see. Let's do Heritage. Just looks like it's probably a retail pack. Got nine cards in it, little little like hanger style. There's nine cards in it. So let's see what we get here. Dylan Moore, Michael Bailey, Yadi Grandal, or Guriel, I mean, Josh Bell, DJ LeMahieu. This one feels weird. Um, let's see. 46, yeah, 46. We got Nick Castellanos in action. 2020 AL leaders. There's Jose Abreu, Luke Voigt, Mike Trout, Jose Ramirez. And we got 2021 rookie stars for the Cardinals. And the Rookie of the Year award, Jackie Robinson. And no short prints, but I'll take a look. At my list later. Same with archives. Here we go. Last pack. Maybe get some last pack magic for an auto or something. Let's see, is this a hobby? Yep, this is a hobby pack, so there is a chance. They do have two two autos per box, I believe. Got Manny Machado, Ryan Howard. Carlton Fisk, that's a nice looking Fisk. We got Matt Chapman. These got to look for the the autograph is missing for, for for variations or parallels. We have Jeff McNeil. Got short print here. El Mago, Javier Baez. Oh, and a Luis Robert. Nice. So we got a short print. It was three thirteen. Believe I have this one, but I'm not 100% sure. We got a Luis Robert rookie card. That's very nice. Very, very nice. I believe I do have this one. Actually, I do have this one. So we'll put that. Put that. Whoops. Put that there. And then the last card is a Mo, Mo Vaughn. So nothing big and exciting in any of the packs other than maybe, you know, getting the short print with Luis Robert in the in that one and getting a, a Willie McCovey short print. Those are only two uh, big things. Uh, so, But I'll check these out. Hopefully these numbers will help out. Probably not since I had a lot of both of those. But it, you never know. Maybe get one. We got Fireworks. Eloy Jimenez. You got the White Sox team card. And you got Robin Ventura and Eric Carroll for my PC. So at least got some good stuff here. And then of course you get this one card for my PC too. This should be an auto or a relic. 
of a white sock. So let's see what we got here. If it's um, an auto or a relic, probably my guess is probably a relic. So we got a Jose Abreu. It's a game use memorabilia. It's a bat card. So that's nice. At least it's a, a bigger name player. Instead of some of the lower players, I tend they tend to get. At least it's a, a major player here. Jose Abreu, game use bat. Game use memorabilia. And this is out of 2018 Top Series 2. So there we go. It says, Congratulations, you have received a Major League Material card from 2018 Top Series 2. So I like that. I like that one a lot. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I would say the the packs are pretty good. I mean, the Pinnacle and the Tops 90, they're on the low-end stuff. But some of the, the 2020 packs are, are pretty decent. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, at least I got a few hits that I like. Not great hits, but these are at least hits I like. Um, yeah, so now I'm just waiting for the, the two diamond boxes to, to, to show up. And like I said, I, I canceled my subscriptions. I know I know Noah's dealing with kidney failure and stuff. But I was having kind of issues before he announced that he was having it when I first subscribed. It was just taking a lot, lot, lot longer to get to me. And I live in the same state that he lives in. And I'm getting stuff like either the day of or the day after he does the the drawings. I don't even know if he's still doing the drawings. He's From what he's, he's showing, he's still doing them. But I don't know if he's still done any in the last few months or at all but um i i do think it's 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 reasonable product probably a little bit better than some of the ones that are out there for the for the price but like i said i i cancel mine i'd rather just save my money and and put it towards an actual full box a hobby box of something that i might be interested in or an older box of something I might be interested in, depending on what what I feel like opening. So, there you have it. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Hit the notifications. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be going to be opening up. I have about thirty boxes of ninety tops that I'm gonna be opening up between, and also tons of loose packs between. Between the fat packs, jumbo packs, the dual jumbo packs, rack packs. I mean, I got everything. I got like eight vending boxes. I mean, I got a lot of boxes that I was planning on doing. And the price just kept going up and up. So I haven't really had a time to really buy any more of 90 tops. Because I think the value for how much they're worth is not there. I mean, I was buying some of these boxes. I bought Some of these boxes, I bought two for 20 bucks. On some of the stuff online. Now I was like. You can't even get one. Under 50. So. So I kind of like. Kind of stopped it. And plus. You know. I don't want the gum to ruin. The cards. So that's why I figure. I'm going to try to get to them. So if you want to. See me do some. Uh, no name on the front. Frank Thomas hunting. Hit that notification. And please subscribe. Because I might start doing it next week. Maybe I. Or maybe even this, maybe this weekend. I don't know. But I might pick a day and just have a, like a 90s Top Monday or 90s Top Tuesday. One of those days, I'll just pick it out and do it. Maybe I'll do it on the weekends because I'll have more time probably to do it on the weekends. Either, either way, it'll be at nighttime. So you guys will be able to see it early in the next morning. So, so stay tuned, please. Until next time, have a great, wonderful day. Bye.